Okay, here you here we go guys. We're here with the new top secret Luna 50 amp Ludacris. We're in no outlet street uh, where there's no traffic off-road up in Palos Verdes at the foot of a hill. We're doing some acid testing and we're gonna test this bike with 11 and a half hour PF pack. That's 11 and a half amp hour 52 volt PF pack running at 52 amps. This is Grant. He's one of our favorite customers. He has no affiliation to Luna Cycles except he bought his kit from us. He's close to 300 pounds and he's going to ride up this giant hill and and he thinks this bike's going to fry. I think so. Okay, so he's going to see if this bike will handle his weight with his power climbing up this massive hill and we're going to see how many times he can climb the hill until he fries it. Okay, here we are at the start, 58.19 volts. This is not a brand new battery. Battery, We got it reset at 0 0.06 amp hours, and we're ready to go. Okay, th this is after lamp one. We're here. I had to huff my way. It was, yeah. Lap one. Keep going. Can we go yeah. down or go back up again? Keep going. Here we go. Here he comes. Daryl on lap two, chugging up this big steep hill. This is lap two, he doesn't think we're gonna make it. All right, here we go. Okay, keep going, man, keep going. See you on the way down. On the way down, we're gonna temp sense him. Okay, here he comes at the end of lap two. He's climbed up the hill, this big ass hill two times. Now we're gonna use the temp sensor to see the temperature of the bike. And then he's gonna continue going up and down this hill. So, all right, let's do a temp readout real quick. We figured out that this doesn't read on the aluminum of the new controller, so we're gonna read here. And we're at 130, 157 degrees Ooh. Fahrenheit. Okay, we're gonna do a finger test. Controller's nice and warm. Battery's warm, not hot. Battery's cool. Battery's Let's go cool. So you're here. Can't get a battery reading. Yeah, the battery's at 73 degrees, 75 degrees. Battery's not even stressed. So right now we're looking at a controller and motor failure before we're going to lose the battery, for sure. Um, the battery, again, 132 degrees here. The battery's only 74 degrees and doesn't feel stressed at all. You agree? I agree. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Right. so, so See, here we go. Let's keep it. going. Try to break this bike. Here we go, let's test them. Uh, this is at the end of lap three. Here we go, we're testing the motor. Let's see what we got. 140, 151 at the end of it. Let's see what we're at. That's holding steady at about, 100, about 150. Let's see the battery. Battery's still at 75. Here's number four. He is on his fourth. Climb up this major Bike busting hill, no problem so far. Don't whiz past this. Whee! Number four. Here he comes in after the fourth climb. We're gonna heat test everything. Here we go. Just real quick so the bike doesn't get much of a rest. We're trying our best to smoke this thing with a 300 pound rider. The temperature's at 165 right now, 168 for the battery. Oh wait, now it's down. Motor. Motor, yeah, about, about 160, so that's as hot as it's been. The battery, 75 degrees. Let's verify, is that yeah. hot? Is it, it's fairly warm, fairly warm. Fairly warm, ambient temperature you call it. And the uh, motor's ready to, hot as hell. If anything's yes. gonna smoke here, <laughs> it's gonna be the motor. It, al it almost didn't make it to the top right now, so we'll see if it makes it this time. All right, <laughs> I'll see, I'll bet you it does. Hey, there goes number five. He just passed. The bike seems to be slowing down a little bit, but he's still making it up the hill. Number five. Okay, here he comes in. Uh, this is after lap number five. It's about 70, it's about 75 degrees, 70 degrees outside. The battery has been at ambient temperature the entire time. The motor's getting up to 160, 170. Right now, the motor's at 161. 
the battery's at 76 degrees. The battery hasn't heated up at all. The motor's the only thing to be concerned about. The brakes are starting to smell. The brakes might go out before anything else goes out. Damn, you gotta love these big lighted big gates and gated communities. So nice. Here he is. Uh, he's passing up a cyclist who's trying to climb this hill manually. And here comes our buddy. And this is lap number six, passing the cyclist. Man, things just still trucking up the hill. Number six. Okay, what do you think? Another temp, temp, temp uh, so, so something did give, so either controller stopped. Okay, let's see where Battery we're stopped. At. Something gave, or what did happen? Um, power just uh, immediately shut off. 153. We still got battery. The we battery, still, we, battery's we, at... Battery's good, the display is good. Uh, the battery's at 79, which is hot as it's been. The, uh, the, uh, uh, we're at 146 on the motor and the controllers at 124. Um, That's lower, why is that so Let's see lower? what's going on. So something's died in the bike. Oh, oh we, we still power got power. Again. Okay, you wanna keep yeah, going, keep going, you wanna, you go keep going until it dies. Yeah. You just gotta love these trees, the beautiful trees in these like plush, gated community neighborhoods. Here he is on number seven. We had kind of a scare. I think we hit the low voltage cutoff on the, on the motor and the bike's running strong, it's going up on seven. Uh, 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 so it looks like everything's good. Goes number seven. There we go, not even pedaling. Holy shit. Man, that's cheating, not pedaling. That's unfair. Here he comes in for his pit stop. After lap seven, the bike's running strong. It looks like we're confident again. Is everything good? Nope, so same place, motor just totally uh, totally shut off. Okay, something shutting off. Let's see if the motor's like getting hot to where we're burning something. Motor still works. Okay, so what we're here, what's happening here is we're not even stressing. Nothing's getting hotter here. Let's see where the battery's at. The battery's, everything's going down in temperature. What's happening is we're hitting LVC probably is set too low on the motor itself and the voltage sag is getting us close to the top of the hill. I, I got down to about 43 volts. I was, I was seeing 43 volts on the steepest part. But let's see, it's something going on with an LVC, but we haven't smoked anything yet. Oh, so let me, let, me turn, let me turn around, go right back up right now. See if we can do it again. Okay. Sound good? All right, you sound good. Go, you only go back down, do another uh, one. I, I, yeah, go back down, do another yep. one. Let's just do it. You got, you got close to the top, right? Yeah, very, yeah. Okay, all right, cool. So we're, uh, we're at seven or eight, we're at eight, right? Something like that. We're at eight, okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> There's something really amazing about filming Luna bikes out on a crescent moon night. Well, we are back in Palos Verdes and we're on number eight. And for some reason, at near the top of the hill, he keeps stopping. There's some- 41.7 volts and it's going fine. Okay, nice. 41.7 volts and yep. going right up the hill, no problem. We don't know why, but some sometime it's dying. Probably uh, close to the top, it's died twice. Something's cutting on and off. There's some LVC happening. Uh, probably in the motor itself, or uh, maybe the battery, but we got an LVC thing happening here. Uh, okay, he's coming down. And it looks like he didn't make it up to the top at number eight. So what's happening? So it keeps keeps shutting off, and then as soon as I turn around, it, get, it gets back on the power. Okay, so we got definitely got an LBC thing going somewhere. Okay, we're at 156. Uh, the controller is like eight. Oh wait, the controller we're not getting an accurate reading because of the silver color. Motor's at 174. Uh, the battery has never hit over 78. So let me take it yeah. and try. All right, so I'm gonna take it. Yeah, you're a little, little lighter. Might get a little more uh... lighter and see what we can do. So we're at eight, right? I believe so. Let me see if I can get this. Okay, okay. Now I'm taking the bike to see what's going on. We're at 45.8. I'm gonna go full throttle up this hill. I'm not even pedaling because I'm holding the camera. Holy shit! For me, it's speeding up the hill. I'm doing 10 miles an hour. I'm a lot lighter. I'm 180 pounds. Okay, so we're back in business. For some reason, with the heavier rider, I want to see what's going on. So right now we're at 42.1, 42.1. You see the light turning orange. 
We're getting down. The sag's getting us a little bit. I see what's going on. This hill gets really steep right here. Look at these nice houses, man. Holy shit, what do these people do? Hey, okay, here we go. Going up to the top. Here we go, no problems. All right. It's not cutting off on me, but I can see we're getting down to the Motors LVC, which I imagine what's happening to Grant. Here we are at the top of PV. I'm gonna go down. We'll call this the top of number nine. I'm gonna go down and ride again and see how many charges we can get with the lighter rider. Okay, here I'm back with Grant. Hey, Grant. How you doing? And on the way down, I actually hit the battery VMS, or it seems, because the display's gone dark. When the display goes dark like this, you know that's the battery VMS cutting out. So we finally hit the end of this charge. Now, here's we're getting interesting readings. We're getting uh, 145 on the on the motor, and on the battery pack. It, it, it feels warm once we got to the cutoff, like warmer than it's been. What do we got here? I don't know if you can see that, but it's at 85 degrees, which is as warm as the battery has gotten. Um, we noticed we smoked the front brake. The brake is what's failed in this test. Um, it actually failed on me as I was coming down. I didn't have enough brake to stop riding with one hand with the camera on me. You can smell the brake pads where they roasted. But it looks like the motor, everything's good. Nothing gave out in the whole test. Um, the watt meter's dark. We're going to test the battery. Yep, go ahead. We're going to see uh, what the voltage is. So we're going to test first at the outputs. There we go. Uh, in the dark, fumbling around in the dark with our handy little voltmeter. And we're at 2.2 volts. Now, a lot of people, they see 2.2 volts and they freak out. What the fuck? I destroyed my pack. But actually it would be really hard to get a, a, a pack this low that means the bms has shut down the pack and has really shut it down where it's not going to come back on until we charge it again but let's and how we can determine that is we're going to try we're going to test the voltage at the at the charge port and that is giving us 38 volts and 38 volts is very close to the lbc so what happened is with the voltage sag, this probably went down to 36 and the BMS shut this pack completely down. Won't let us recycle it, won't let us trick it. We have to take this pack home and charge it to get it going again, which is what that BMS is supposed to do to keep this baby safe. I've learned a lot in this testing. This is the first time we've just run a soft pack like this out in the open without a bag. And it, I gotta tell you, I was gonna make the pack for this out of 32 cells and now I'm really tempted to go with PF or GA, I think 30Q would be a waste. That there, uh, uh, this is 11 and a half amp hour. We're planning to run a 20 amp hour pack on this bike. I think 30Q, a uh, high rated amp cell, is really a waste. It, it ran really well. There was, yeah. Keep in mind, this was a 50 amp BBSHD. People are concerned about running 11 and a half amp hour sharks. I wouldn't be worried at all with with a with a 30 amp BBSHD and a and a PF. Or a, a GA pack, like they're more than enough for these BBSHDs. And it, um, I've I've learned a lot in this test. Thanks, Grant. For cool. Coming out. Yeah, absolutely. It was fun. I really get out. It was, this was a good night. Let's go have some beers. Let's get some. Let's get some dinner. All right. Okay, man.